In this tutorial video, what I wanted to do was a, a video showing how to view what files have changed um, as you as you are using the admin panel to kind of uh, develop your specific version of Sweet CRM to your business needs. So it help, makes it easier to figure out what exactly did what and where and why. Um, so I'm just logging in right now. What I'm going to do is open up Git Bash. This is a program that allows you to use Bash in combination with Git uh, for all of your Git and Bash needs. And you can run it on Windows. Um, so what I'm going to do is travel to where I have my directory for uh, Sweet CRM and I'm going to initialize a Git repository there and then make my first commit and then I'll do something and then you can do a git status and see what the difference is. Uh, let's see. Where am I now? Okay. So then we're going to go into MAMP and then just go to HT Docs and hit tab to autocomplete that. And then there should be one here, Sweet CRM. If I type git status now, it's not a git repository. So we're going to type the git in it, and this will create a git repository for us. And then these are all the files um, that are presently untracked. And what you have to do is do git add, and you can add all the files here. However, that is not recommended. For example, the cache directory is a volatile directory that always changes. Um, and you don't want to store cached information because that is uh, not, you know, your your software here produces this cached information. You don't need it to run this actual software. <clears throat> uh, And it might be easier if I add everything. You'll see this warning a lot. This just uh, is a warning about um, the the format of certain files for certain text in files. Uh, and this might take a second to add all these things to the Git repository. So it's going through the include directory. Uh, this is going to take forever. I hope this doesn't take forever. Okay. Your modules and then <clears throat> it should be almost done after this one and it probably could have uh, I probably could have put in the option there to not print out the warning and it probably would not have taken it as long then but you should only need to do this once And while we're waiting for this, what we can do is uh, we can just Google for um, git ignore file for sweet CRM. And uh, there might be a git ignore that you can replicate here. So this is the sweet CRM repo in um, GitHub. And it looks like they are ignoring all the things that you should be ignoring here, like log files. Um, looks like if you're using Eclipse to develop, it's uh, taking that into account as well. So 
So we are definitely going to copy this and create a gigaignore file for ourselves. As soon as this is done, looks like it just completed. And so here's all of our new files. Uh, looks like we don't need the themes because um, it's in this git ignore file here. Uh, not entirely sure. I guess that would depend on your implementation of it because uh, you might want to modify the CSS. I'm actually going to keep it in my commit, I think. The uploads is directory you definitely do not want to add to your git ignore file because you don't need that's not proprietary towards your software it's just files that people have uploaded onto the server um, well just read directions there I shouldn't have done that if I did git reset hard on the head it would have reset the entire working tree so I would have to down did all that over again um, I'm just following directions here if you look at uh, will this current any changes in the thing so I'm just gonna do this to the upload directory and it doesn't like that option okay so there we go I just need to add a space um, let's see I need to do each one of these individually If I had a star here. No, they're still there. Damn. Uh, let's do get checkout. Let's see this option for um, blah blah blah. Let's see this option here for recursive. So we'll do anything in there. Um, I should remove it. I already did that and it didn't work. So if I do it individually, does that work? I didn't remove it either. Maybe instead of checkout, I should do my...
So it looks like the first option is add that. So let's create a get ignore file first. So we'll copy this. I um, actually want the themes, so copy half of it. Get ignore file. This should be ignoring the uploads directory, which I believe it is. I did see it somewhere. Yep, there it is right here. It's also uploading, ignoring the cache and the HD access, which looks good. And then after I make that, then I'm going to remove it from the cache. I'm going to copy that command, go back to here, paste that in, and then cool. So now that I removed it from my thing. And then you have the untracked files, which looks great. <coughs> And it looks like we can see that it, something is written to the log in the past uh, couple of minutes here. So now you can see the modified files. And this is how we're going to find out which files get modified when we do something in Sweet CRM. And this skill is extremely nice to have um, you know, when you're trying to debug something and uh, you can't really figure out what, exa what exactly the software is doing. So to do this, you can use you know trial and error, and um, eventually become an expert at it over a period of time. And you can make tutorial videos on YouTube. Yay! So now looking at this, what we're going to do is make our first commit. And I'm just going to do another get status and look at all these things, uh, themes I want to include because um, those might change. I might change images or whatever, and I like to include those in my package. A lot of themes. Here's all our modules. Definitely want to have those. Uh, JavaScript source files include directory. That looks good to me so far. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and make our first commit. First commit. And added git ignore. So it's going to add all that to our Git database that runs locally and uh, make our commit. So now if we type git status, we can see that we're one ahead and here are the uh, files that have been modified. And then, uh, so this this way we can track our, our, our software changes. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Sweet CRM. And we're going to go ahead and do something like uh, create a new field like I did before. And I'm just going to uh, briefly do that without explaining too much since I already have another video on specifically how to do that. Um, and actually what we can do is uh, we can do a repair. Let's go ahead and do that instead. And we'll do a quick repair and rebuild. And we can see what happens when we um, uh, do that to our software. Uh, so it clears all the cache files and and uh, syncs the var defs file with the database which you, I'll show you in the future what that means so if I do get status now you should see a bunch of things from the cache directory that have been um, changed um, pretty much everything in the cache directory has either been deleted or modified uh, to catch up with what it is already including the language files and so this is essentially what rebuilding um, does and you really don't want the cache directory uh, to be part of your Git um, repository for this reason. And this is something that we need to remove. So we're going to 
I'm going to hit Control R, do reverse search, and just uh, look for git remove. And this is the command I want. But instead of this, I want uh, the cache directory. And so this removes all the things from the git uh, tracking. Um, so I deleted it from the git uh, tracking, um, but it's still there locally. So I'm going to do go ahead and do a second commit just so I stay consistent uh, because I plan on using this in the future to show you guys what exactly a certain uh, feature does in the software. And then you can see the differences uh, pretty easily. Um, that's Mood. So looking at this, you can see the cache directory still exists. It's uh, right here. Uh, it's just been removed from the tracking in Git. Uh, and the way I did that was I just ended up Googling it after um, I couldn't figure it out on my own from the, the prompts. And it has this nice Stack Overflow question. Um, so thank you for this person that answered this, Todd Birdshell. Thank you, Todd Birdshell. Uh, thank you for watching, and keep tuned for more Sweet CRM uh, material.